Hey there, everyone. The real estate market is a topic of concern with a lot of people these days, and so we want to get a local perspective of what's happening here in the Myrtle Beach area. And we're joined now by Blake Sloan with the Sloan Realty Group. Thanks for joining us today. And no first problem. of all, let's start with the Myrtle Beach market. Um, how has the market changed uh, over the past year, say? We've definitely seen a significant slowdown since last year. Um, we've seen a, a big decrease in prices from last year. Obviously, with, with the foreclosures coming to the market, they've been pretty much setting the prices in each neighborhood because they're the ones that had the ability to, to drop the prices to get a quick sale. And those are pretty much what the buyers have been jumping on because they just want to deal. And, but they are selling. We've seen a lot of multiple offers on those. Um, but again, we've seen some prices that are 50 cents on the dollar from what they were one year ago. Um, but what you're seeing usually on average around 30% less in some areas. And you were talking about foreclosures. Horry County, South Carolina doing much better than other parts of the country and Horry County better part than other parts of the state. Yeah, exactly. Um, Realty Track, one of the biggest companies that track that, um, basically showed that Horry County was one of the, the, the better counties in South Carolina um, with Greenville being the highest. And uh, South Carolina is one of the, the, the better states, I guess you'd say, compared to California, Las Vegas, and Florida. Um, and actually last month in October, um, South Carolina had a decrease of 8% um, from the foreclosures before. And Horry County is at 4%? Um, well, here locally in our market, uh, foreclosures are about 4% of the, the market share, I guess you say, of, of active listings um, in Horry County uh, of stick-built homes. And there is a tax credit that people can get if they buy one of these foreclosures. Yeah, the government has, has put in a lot of, uh, I guess, incentives for people to buy, and they actually just um, announced a, a federal tax credit, $7,000 if you buy a foreclosure property before April 2009. And they split that in two years, 3500 3500 And that's a big incentive on top of all the other ones they've done, plus the, the unbelievable prices, which I've never seen here before like that. Um, and, and interest rates are actually down. They were down on Tuesday uh, to 5.625%, uh, which is a huge incentive to, to definitely get in there and, and buy something. So overall, is this the time to buy? A absolutely, I think so. Um, we're seeing a big change where um, even Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac actually just announced they would freeze in foreclosure until January 9 to implement a way for them to actually do loan modifications. So there's going to be a lot less foreclosures coming out there, which means the prices aren't going to continue to drop as much. Um, and that's where the government came there. So it's definitely a great time to buy. Prices are unbelievably low. Uh, it's easy to get uh, a good rate if you're going primary residence, something like that. Um, and we actually keep a, a list of foreclosures, those deals, um, at MyrtleBeachForeclosure.org, um, which continually comes up and does that. Okay. All right, well, thank you very much for joining us today, Blake Sloan, Sloan Realty Group, and we'll continue to follow what's happening with the real estate market. Back to you guys.